I'm gonna show you how to open these Honda Accord taillights. We need to open them to build out custom taillights for this Honda Accord and we need to open them. So I'm gonna show you how we do it. I have obviously already opened them, but I can still show you the process. First, you're gonna need some tools. These are the tools that we use to open the light. We also use an oven. After the oven, we use these pocket screwdrivers. They're very thin and able to get into the trough very easy. Once you have the trough pushed back a little bit, you can use a bigger screwdriver to kind of speed things up. If it's struggling, then you can use some of these panel poppers to really get in there and spread the light open. Once you do have the light open, we like to use cling wrap to protect the lens so that you can actually set it down on its face and you don't have to worry about minor scratches or anything like that or fingerprints. These are the aftermarket ones and thankfully they are butyl sealed. That definitely makes our job a lot easier. To reseal the light, we're gonna use butyl and this is the best one, the Morimoto Retro Rubber. Step one is to turn on the oven. For our oven, we always bake at 220. And if you look inside, we actually use rubber cooking mats so that we can set the light on the metal grate without melting the plastic. Your oven may be different. If it's newer, it probably has better heating elements. So it could run a little bit warmer than what the temperature actually is. So you can start at like 200, 210, take it out of the oven and feel how it's opening, feel how it's loosening up and then heat it up as you need to. And in the oven it goes. We always start with eight minutes, take it out and try to open it. If it feels like it's budging and doesn't want to open, then we will actually throw it back in the oven for a couple more minutes. And time's up. So one of the best tricks that I found when opening these is to use the pocket screwdriver to start to pry it open, you're gonna start at where the tabs are at. So in there on the lens is where the tabs sit. And we'll actually start right here and we'll kind of just loosen it up a little bit, just enough to get your big screwdriver in there. Then you're actually going to put the big screwdriver in and instead of prying this way, you're actually gonna go along with the light and pry like this. You're gonna twist the screwdriver. What you're doing is you're actually just releasing the butyl from the lens itself so that you can pull it off without destroying this trough right here. One thing you don't want is for this to be all wrinkled and broken because then it's not gonna seal up properly. And a tip for this specific light, this area right here is actually pretty tough. As you can see, we actually did have a little bit of a mishap, so we will get another one so that we can uh, fix that. The last thing you'll need is some metal clips. Uh, this is what you'll use to actually seal the light back up. We'll set it on there, something like this. That's gonna hold the lens to the back housing so that you can get everything sealed back up. We use quite a bit of them. Now that you've done all of your modifications, you can start to put the lens back together. This is where the butyl is gonna come in handy. We are gonna put the light back in the oven for another eight minutes just to heat up the new butyl. And then we can put the clips on to seal everything back together. This is really thick. Go ahead and stretch it so that it fits into the trough better. And you're just gonna wanna fill up the trough with the butyl. You really don't want water to leak. Once you have your butyl set in place, uh, you can now get this thing prepped and ready for the lens to go on. Uh, what I like to do is use compressed air to clean out uh, any dust or any debris that I have just sitting in there that's gonna make it look bad. And the lens here. Definitely start here, put some pressure on it. It's on there, but obviously not sitting all the way flush. Now we gotta go back in the oven. Definitely don't want that. Let's open this, take this, set it in there. Got that in there for about eight minutes at 220. Gonna need you a couple of these clips. This is gonna be used to hold the lens onto the back housing so that while the uh, adhesive is cooling off, the lens stays in place. That's eight minutes. In order to protect the lens from the clips, I use a microfibers. Add clips. So now we're gonna let this cool off. And once it's completely cooled, then it will be completely sealed, watertight, and that lens is not going anywhere. Okay, bye.